Hello everybody and welcome to another AFK journey video on the channel. Today we are going to be going over this dev update that came out, I know, five days ago. I've been a really busy guy, I got overtime, I've had to work five uh, full 10 hour days at work. It's been really fun. So uh, yeah, wink. Uh, so we're going to be going over this dev update and we're going to be talking about everything just so you guys, you know, if you care at all, you can get kind of my opinion on it uh, because I've been playing it quite a decent amount for the channel. And I've been wanting to talk about it. And I've been wanting to play it more and make new video, uh, make more videos on it. And more, more of that's going to come in the future. All right. So let's talk about it. All right. So this update is scheduled for April 11th. This update already came out three days ago. Uh, but also they're going to be talking about a new season coming in May 2024. So let's go over some of the things that have been added to the game very recently. And then let's talk about some of the uh, things that are coming in the new uh, expansion, basically, and the new season. So cross server social features, a number of players express challenges interacting with friends owing, owing to being assigned to different servers, which prevented them from adding friends and engaging across servers is now addressed with the implementation of new crossover features in today's update. The problem with these cross server features, which I'm going to talk about in a separate video is they didn't add cross server. Uh, you can't join cross server, uh, guilds. And when all of my, whenever I asked all of my friends, you know, Hey, you, you guys should uh, get into AFK journey with me. And they did a lot of them pretty much all of them did. And even some people from my job did, which is really cool. Uh, they all made accounts, played a bunch of the game and now, uh, they were all on different servers. So luckily we figured this out in about a day, day and a half. They didn't get super unbelievably far in. So begrudgingly, all of them have restarted the entire game just so we can be in the same guild. That is not fun. Please allow people to switch servers, individuals at least, right? You don't have to like bring over the whole guild, although some people will use it for that. Um, no one cares. I would, I would just like the devs to know nobody cares. We just want to play with our friends, right? That's how the, hey, that's, that is what it is. It's the same thing with New World. I say it all the time, all right? Uh, I think servers in New World should be much larger or pretty much every single thing in the entire game should be cross server or it should be like areas where you can just like hop over areas at will, right? That would be fine. Anyway, anyway, um, okay, okay, let's wait for it. I just want to jump to the new season, right? Because we basically talked about this. You can add friends. You can participate in co-op battles, proxy battles, and more collaborative fights. But the, the biggest thing should be guilds. The biggest thing should be guilds. Honestly, like, all of this is just whatever. It's basically like, yeah, I mean, we love that you can now play with your friends. You know, this opens up more opportunities, and this is great. And by the way, you can't do this in... Uh, you can't do cross-server arena or dream realm. Uh, that's still server-based. Uh, they forgot to mention guilds. As, uh, as I would like to reiterate again, um, new season, what to expect. This is exciting. This is exciting because here's the thing, right? There's another game that I actually started really, really enjoying. I, I really, really enjoyed it actually. And then they added seasons, right? And when the season reset, all of my character building progress reset, it was absolutely ridiculous. And I do not play the game anymore. I logged in after a few days being off. I didn't know what happened. All of my units were level one again. I'm like, this is nope, nope, nope. You will respect my time. And unfortunately for me, that was Dragonair Silent Gods. I actually really, really was enjoying it. I was like, oh my God, it's like a less cock and ball torture Raid Shadow Legends. And I love Raid Shadow Legends. I love the real, more realistic uh, art style. Uh, nope, nope. It just slapped my nuts off. So yeah, this is not what they're doing in the season of AFK Journeys though. AFK Journey seasons are all going to be about new progression on top of your current progression. So let's look at that. All right, new season, what to expect. The team has learned from experience of developing, developing and running multiple live service titles. Unchallenged has always been to create a design that remains rewarding for years to come. Players for new and old. With the introduction of each new season, we wish to offer a slew of ever-expanding content and game design that alleviates the pressure of progression. As long as you don't reset progression, that's fine. Rich lore. An ever-expanding tale of Asperia. First of all, each new season is to reveal a new region of Asperia. So right now, I think the last one we have is the mountains. 
And we have like, you know, before that we have the dark forest. We have uh I don't even remember the place before that. And then we have like Hola Hola whatever it is. Um Yeah, I don't know. Uh I don't know the first two areas, but I know it's like the the dark forest and then the mountains. So it's gonna add a new one every time there's a new season. It will present new fresh storylines, expansive map explorations, and lavish rewards. Today we are excited to announce that the upcoming season will be called St Song of Strife. It's set to revive in Asperia in May 2024, so that's next month. Uh, Song of Strife season will reveal an expansive new region, an adventure for Magister Merlin, and tribes come together to face unforgiving trials. More details will, will be revealed as they get closer uh, to the start of the new season. Please follow us and subscribe. Yeah, 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 okay. So that's exciting. It's just, okay. So we're adding a new season. It's going to add some new content, some new story content. That's good. Seasonal progression, an easy to manage new dynamic. Each new season will bring new progression lines that are unique for each season. We can understand the existing progression mechanisms as, a perm as permanent progression. Seems like systems like artifact, resonance, levels, class equipment, hero tiers, heroes exclusive equipment, etc. will remain effective across all seasons. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That is the problem with Dragonair Silent Gods. That is what instantaneously killed it for me. Because all that stuff that they just said, basically all of it was deleted instantly from my account. I said, oh, yep, yep, this does not respect my time at all. I am not playing it. Um, it'd be different if it was like a full-blown game that maybe I enjoyed a lot more like Path of Exile. But even for Path of Exile, I kind of hate it. Right? So, I just don't like systems like that. Right? Uh, so... Then upon entering a new season of Song of Strife, a new seasonal progression system will be introduced. So I kind of like this. This is also kind of like Path of Exile, except, you know, without the levels being reset to zero and your characters being moved off and you have to start a new account or anything like that. Um, it's basically like, hey, this is the Crucible season. Now there's a new season with a new mechanic, a new form of progression for you to do on your character. And it will not stay between seasons. I mean, maybe if it's good, it'll stay between seasons and they'll do that. You know, kind of like how they do for Path of Exile. We'll have to see. Um, the system will function as tandem with the existing permanent systems. Uh, season progression comprises a few new systems such as seasonal resonance level, seasonal class equipment, seasonal artifacts, and, and potential new seasonal items. Seasonal progression is tailored to emphasize a str the strategic fun of progressing through seasonal content. We are committed to providing a new content with new season, uh, ensuring a dynamic and refreshing progression experience. Cool. As long as they work, you know, very side by side with each other, as long as like, okay, I'm working on the seasonal progression, but that's because it forwards my ability to progress my permanent level. And then yes, my seasonal progression might go away, but due to this, due to all the content in this new season, I was able to progress a lot on my permanent progression. So things like that. Um, the design philosophy is built upon three key principles. To preserve the value of permanent progression systems, to create an easy to manage seasonal progression system, and to lower the energy barrier, the entry barrier for returning newcomers. All times are opportune for AFK Journey. That is awesome. I'm 100%. That, that sounds great. All of that is amazing, as I've said. Gameplay updates. Always fun and rewarding. Wow. No way. New season will, always bring, or will also bring out refreshing challenges to gameplay, presenting new mechanics and challenges. For instance, new season Song of Strife is set to introduce new gameplay mechanisms, as well as new content uh, for the Dream Realm, Battle Drills, Primal Lord. There'll also be visual updates to present the new features across the uh, multiple game modes. I think that sounds awesome. I would love more bosses, like more Dream Realm bosses. I actually love the rotation of bosses that they have going. I, I really, really like that system. It's awesome. So if with every new season they add like a new boss, but then whenever the season goes away, that boss kind of stays in the rotation permanently. So it's like you always remember, oh, yeah, this is the boss that they added during the Song of Strife. You can tell because it's a big bard monster uh, that plays the music in that, you know, Song of Strife, uh, whatever. Um, something like that. I think that would be cool. Hopefully that's what they mean by that. There'll also be visual upgrades. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. To build a better seasonal experience, we are exploring the intergate in integration of game modes and activities throughout the season whether it's individual strategies or team challenges with friends we'll discover more for years to come um that is perfectly fine by me hopefully the rewards are worth it for whatever they add 
when it comes to a gacha game, you can release anything as long as, you know, the rewards are actually really rewarding, you know? Um, I mean, not that you can release anything. People, people will complain if you release bad content, but if you release subpar content with, like, the most insane rewards ever, people are like, yeah, I mean, I'll eat it. I'll eat it for sure. It, it tastes pretty good when I'm doing my 30 new pulls off of this one single two day event that like was kind of mid, but like gave me 30 pulls, you know, things like that. Right. So goals and achievements sound and clear after the launch of the new season, different servers may initiate at various times. We will adhere to an unified global end time, eventually transitioning together into the next including season, a uh, succeeding season. By meticulously planning each seasonal journey, a retrospective event schedules will like to offer a balanced experience for all users. Whether it be leisurely journey, whether it be, it be a leisurely journey or deep lore exploration or a war driven path, we'll all find your way in AFK journey. Wow. Um, and for those who possess the drive to reach higher, uh, the leaderboards of each season will provide a great opportunity to showcase your valor, strength and relentless spirit to challenge yourself. Wow. Sounds good. Everything sounds good to me All right, so far. What if I missed out? Finally, we got a plans for players who might miss out on a season. This is so, so important. I cannot stress enough how amazing it feels. One, right? Something I love about AFK Journey is as long as your characters are strong enough, you can just keep progressing, right? You can just keep going. It doesn't have a pointless energy system. I love that. Now, I tolerate, I tolerate it in HSR and because that's kind of been the standard for a while. And even though HSR kind of also falls into the category of having an energy system, they also have like a bank overflow where you have to be AFK for like a half a month for that bad boy to fill up the whole way. And here's the thing. I don't be AFK for that long. I play the game daily. But if I, if I, if I log in and my energy is like, you know, 240 out of 240 in, in a Honkai Star Rail, you know, it used to be back when, especially when the uh, max energy was 180, I'd be like, oh my God, how long have I been at 180? How long have I been at max energy for? How long have I been wasting energy just going into the void? Now it doesn't go into the void. It goes into another vault uh, that has a very high capacity. And I can just come in after not playing for like two weeks straight, log in, and I will have so much energy. I would be able to play for a while, right? I'll just be able to straight go go hard for like five hours worth of energy, you know? So that's really cool. I love that. Um, but the fact that AFK Journey doesn't have energy is also amazing. I love that as long as my characters are strong enough, I can just keep doing content and I will be perfectly fine to do that. It's going to be fun. It's going to be great. I can just keep going. Also, um, something that I love about Honkai Star Rail that I hope they're about to say here is in Honkai Star Rail with most of the like larger events that happen, you can play the larger, like there's limited time rewards. Of course, you still have a little bit of FOMO, uh, still, still a little bit of missing out. I mean, you're never going to fully escape it, but you can go through and you can replay past, uh, larger sized events, uh, and get the not limited time, but like not the limited time rewards, but just the event rewards themselves, uh, which are another pull of rewards. So it's great. It's great. I love that you can go back at any time and just do events and get rewards from something that you weren't there for right off the bat. So what if I missed out? We got a plan for players who might miss out on a season. Temporal Nexus, which is expected to launch at the end of each season, encapsulates the complete seasonal content. So this is everything brought in the season. And facilitates across the content. Facilitates access to the content at any time. That is insane. This includes a primary game content that might not compromise. That may not compromise limited time uh, items or events. Okay. So yeah, that's basically it. There's still going to be some limited time events and items. It's whatever. But like it won't have literally everything. But it has all the primary game content that came with that season. And you can go back and you can get all the rewards for the primary game content. Be it visiting or continuing to play, the journey is yours. Why do they say something like that at the end of everything? Of the individual strategies of team challenges with friends. We'll just, I'll discover for more for year to come. All times are opportune for AFK Journey. <laughs> they say some kind of like pickup line at the end of every paragraph. <laughs> it's fine, but like, oh, 
It's just, I'm just noticing the pattern. Ending remarks. In the new update, cross-server social features are here. With this update, we also preparing the we are also preparing for the imminent launch of the new season coming in May 2024. We hope that the new season system of AFK Journey will continue to uphold the fun and strategic gameplay while also providing dynamic new experiences for years to come. Although it's a daring expedition, we are committing to listening to your feedback and changing along the way. Cool. All of that sounds great to me. We're going to have to see how it plays out. I I am not scared to be, you know, I, I'm not scared to critique these companies. Um, I, I'll, I'll call out the bullshit. I'll try to call out the bullshit. If I, if I find something that I also agree is bullshit, I will do it. Um, you guys never have to worry about that. So we're going to see how this goes. Everything sounds pretty good so far. I'm really excited about the game and the future of the game, and I've been enjoying playing it. So yeah, peace. Subscribe, comment, like, you know what it is.